M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. M0FXB, so we're just going to look at the waterfall scope menu and settings. So to turn the waterfall scope on, you just go menu and then hit scope. And then if there's activity, it all scrolls down. And if you look here, there's some frequencies, the settings 434, 375 to 434, 625. Okay, now... <clears throat> there is a whole menu section dedicated to this. So all we do is go menu, go across and down to settings, and then if you're at the top, scroll down and go to scope. So you've got, let's go through them one at a time. So you can, I like scroll, fix and center. Let's go back. <clears throat> Display steps, plus 15 or minus 15 steps and 20. Waterfall function is on. I haven't tried it with it off actually. Waterfall speed, fast. Fixed mode, center frequency. So you can set that. So if we say we're on there and it's set it at 433, three, but you can change that. AF output. Let's have a look at that. On. Uh, what is that? Output. Dual airband. AF output dual air band. Not really sure what that would do. Now, have we come out of the scope settings? No, we haven't. So that's it. So you have got settings. It looks like you can't really change the span and the edge. What you can do is put yourself in the center of its, of its width. And then you've got... Where is it? You've got this thing here plus or minus 15 steps, plus or minus 20 steps. So let's go to 15. So I'm so I am new to this, let's so just key. And that's shame no one's talking, because if they were you it would continue. M0 FXB for an audio check. It does look very good, see and then see if someone comes back, I've got a flat battery here. Yeah, thanks very much. Just testing the the sort of visual scope on this ID fifty two. Asking for an audio check. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, there are lots of life now. Over five, over. This is why we love Hubnet. Always friendly. Yeah, thanks everyone for the test. Just testing out the uh, the visual scope on the ID fifty two. Thanks very much. M zero FXB. Right, we've put. In, I've always got spare batteries for this for these icon radios, so we'll get one in there. So there you go. Now see, it says four three four zero six to four three four five nine three now. Now let's just change that menu setting. Let's go twenty steps. Come out of that. Yeah, and it's changed. So that's how you do it. It changes. I don't know how wide the band the, the band is covered, 20 steps. And you can I suppose you can change your 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 steps like this and so let's go up. So we go menu. Let's just go back. Quick menu. All right, we have, so if we come out of uh, the quick menu of the scope by doing VFO twice, hit quick menu. And you go to tuning steps. So where is it? All the way up. Tuning steps. Hit to the right. And let's go. Let's go to a, a really wide one. That's a nice wide one. Now let's put the scope on and see if it covers a wider area. Menu. Scope. Yeah, I think it does. Now we're covering a much wider area. So right, okay, that's it. I've sussed it. How to make the waterfall scope scan or view a wider area. I'll put this on YouTube, then I might make a smaller uh, video saying that. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, 
please hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.